As a middle school teacher, I really need to be on my toes. Also over here, some little bits. My name is Mary Sarah Proctor. I'm a middle school English and literature teacher here at Indian Creek School. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was 16 years old. I had lived the last 22 years without incident until this summer when I developed a blister on my foot that turned into a very substantial infection. I went to see Dr. Peter Allenson at the Wound Care Center at MedStar Good Samaritan Hospital. If I had waited to try to let the infection run its course, I could have ended up losing my foot. I checked into the hospital in the middle of August. For the first time in my life, as both a student and a teacher, I had to miss the first day of school. I had always had a first day of school for 35 years, and all of a sudden, school was starting without me. As a teacher, that is a very big deal. It was very, very difficult to miss the beginning of school, to miss those first few weeks where I am getting to know my students. So as sad as I was that I couldn't be at school, my new full-time job was to be a good patient. Sometimes it was hard. It's hard to be going through something that you don't want to be going through and to know that there is some place that you really want to get back to and that was difficult. I was very scared and nervous. I had never heard of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. I had never had a wound of this size, severity, um, trickiness. It was in the hard to heal wound category. There are amazing, I call it science fiction-y stuff that can be done that I would be laying in a time machine looking chamber to get pure oxygen treatments. And I also knew that the benefits were so tremendous. Every treatment I had was putting me one step closer towards being able to walk again and have a fully functioning foot. The wound care staff, Dr. Allenson, Dr. Martin, all of the nurses that I got to know, made this process so easy. I was informed, I was treated with the utmost care and concern and respect. Bring in the soccer ball. Yeah. When I came back to work finally, the kids were very happy to see me and very, very curious and intrigued about what had gone on in those months that I wasn't at school. They had missed me, they meant it, and they wanted to know where I had been and that was very wonderful. Without the folks at MedStar Good Samaritan Hospital, my prognosis could have gone a very different path than it did. And I'm extremely grateful for that.